Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to airbrush a tear in Photoshop. So let's get to that. Okay, so we're going to airbrush a tear onto this, under this eye. Um, going to take a really simple approach, and then obviously you can get more realistic with this, but this is just a, a general basic way that I would approach this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pen tool here, and the pen tool is very handy, and I highly recommend you get very used to it because you can do a lot of uh, masking and a lot of uh, precise uh, cutting with it. And it actually is a, a super useful tool that I use a lot. So we're going to go to the pen tool. We're actually going to go to my layers, and I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to name that tier by double clicking on it. And you can actually just click and when you click again and then click and drag. And I'm actually going to use um, my option uh, key on the keyboard and I'm going to click on that. And that's going to take away one of the Bezier curves. And I'm going to click again and then drag it out and option click again. So take away that one side and we're going to click again, drag, and that's not in the perfect position I want it. So I can actually, on my keyboard, my right arrow and now my up arrow, and I'm going to uh, option click again and I'm going to complete that teardrop right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my uh, paths here and you see the work path and I can actually command click on that layer and it makes a selection out of it. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to fill that with, uh, I'm going to go back and I'm push D on the keyboard and I'm going to switch these colors back to white. And I'm actually going to fill um, this with a, a solid color because I'm, I'm going to use this layer again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the foreground color, I'm going to fill that. So if I turn off this layer, there's my tear. So I'm going to deselect that right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to command click on that layer again and bring back uh, the selection. I'm actually going to make a new layer and this is going to be uh, the tear highlights. So I'm going to double click on that, name it tear highlights. And I'm going to turn off the, the layer below it. So it's actually just a, a blank selection. I'm going to go to the brushes up here. And I'm actually going to make a, it's kind of a feathered brush here, but I need it to be a little bit larger. Um, and you don't want it to be hard because that would actually have a hard edge to it. So now that you can actually see my brush, if you push tab, you can actually now go around it. I'm not going to go inside of the tier. I'm actually going to go around the tier. So it actually kind of makes that, and I'm going to deselect it. So you get a good uh, kind of teardrop type effect right there. And I just went around it, and I deselected it right there. Now, if I were to keep this, this would be OK, but it's, um, it doesn't really look that realistic. So I am actually going to take the opacity down a little bit. And that helps because it helps blend in because uh, it wouldn't be exactly milky white like that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take that layer again that we had below and we're going to command click. And we're actually going to fill that with a black. So I'm going to go to fill. And I'm going to use the foreground color again. So even though that makes this black, we actually don't want that. Uh, we're actually going to duplicate this layer by dragging it. And we have a copy of it. So I'm going to turn off the original black tier. And we have the tier copy. So I'm going to make this the tier shadow. And we're just going to put a slight blur on that. 
kind of Gaussian blur. And we're just going to make it very, very subtle. Seven would be okay. And we're going to take that opacity down quite a bit. Now, we don't want a black tier, obviously. So, so I'm going to take it over here. And we're going to take that down just to get a very subtle shadow. We're actually going to command click on the above layer. So we're actually going to make that solid. And now we're going to, with the tier shadow layer, we're going to go to the mask and we're going to add a layer mask. Now it's actually opposite. So we want to click on the mask and we're going to command I, which inverts that selection. And we're going to take that opacity down quite a bit. So it's a crude version of a tier. It's not perfect. Uh, and we can actually take this down quite a bit. So it's not as milky white, but it gets you on the right path. And you could actually spend a lot more time and make this a lot more realistic. You may want to make a circular drop, but this is the way that I would approach making a tier in Photoshop. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections, and we'll see you next time.